This story is an electric TV first, and here's why. Past stories have highlighted projects where active construction was going on. Projects where the high-tech electrical and information systems weren't quite done. Places that weren't quite open for business. That is not the case with this story. For this story, we're heading out to a complex that began its operations in 1991, the Isle of Capri Hotel and Casino in Bettendorf, Iowa. But 16 years later, it's time to expand. It's that expansion and the challenges active construction can have on a site with an already fully functioning hotel and casino. That's the focus on our story today. Bert Goodley has more. It's the roll of the dice and the spin of the wheel. It's the risk and the reward. It's gambling that's been bringing people to the banks of the Mississippi River on the Iowa side since the early 90s. Gaming started right here outside of Las Vegas and New Jersey back in 1991. And uh, it's been here for the last 16, 17 years now. A casino brings numerous economic advantages to a once thriving waterfront city like Bettendorf. The longer you keep visitors on site, the higher your profits will be. When profits are high, you can afford to expand. Back in 1998, uh, we decided to build a hotel to try and bring customers in from the outer markets. We focus a lot, of, a lot on the Chicago, Wisconsin markets. And uh, again, we continue to be very successful to a point uh, we built this hotel here uh, to be a support facility for the new event center that's being built by the city, which this hotel is going to be connected to. Back in 98, NECA contractor Tri-City Electric was on the job, a job that was finished successfully, something the owners didn't forget when they chose to expand a second time. We've been involved down here through the parking ramp, the now two hotels and remodeling of the Isle Center. There's uh, four or five meeting rooms. There's a uh, very nice restaurant called Faraday's. There's the Penguins, the comedy clubs down here, and, uh, and some of their offices. Tri-City was in charge of all the lighting, fire alarm, and information systems throughout the entire expansion. But the work proved to be a little more difficult this time around. For starters, it was a design-build project. Uh, from a design-build standpoint, um, the, the interesting part of design build is that all parties have to come together. So from our corporate office with the general contractor, Ryan, and with all the subs, including Tri-City, it's very important that everybody comes together and uh, stays on track and, and understands the scope of the project. Well, we received the documents from Ryan Companies. Uh, they were approximately 50% complete. It was our responsibility to uh, assemble a price that would work within their budget. Uh, we had to bid it competitively and uh, make that price work for the, for, the, for the owner and for the general contractor. Besides being a design-build project, you've got a hotel and casino that remained open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, throughout construction. That was the biggest challenge was being able to keep their customers safe, be as invisible as possible, and uh, bring it in on time, and it was, uh, it was a challenge. You know, I explain to my guys, you know, if you're doing something, you know, if you have to take a minute, step out of the way, let the customer go by, help them out. Uh, garbage is another thing, you know, make sure the garbage is picked up. If you lose something, it blows away. I mean, we're up there, there's some windy days, you know, make sure something doesn't blow off. But those two problems weren't the only ones Tri-City had to deal with. Well, the, the structural challenges for us came to, when it came to the outside uh, uh, perimeter lighting and uh, uh, security, and different conduit runs outside, it was, it was constantly hitting foundations. It was hitting the foundations of an old factory that used to occupy this site. When we first got on site, um, there were some old piers and pile caps down there from the old factory, and some of our conduits had to work in and around those. A lot of those old piers and stuff we had to notch in order to run our conduits out. Uh, we were down deep. Um, normal service we bring in a lot of times at three to four feet. This one we were down almost six feet. We had excavators right beside us. It was in basically February, winter time. So any good days of weather, we had to stay right with them to get our stuff in ahead and, and be right with them there for the pour. 
All issues aside, the IBEW NECA team proved once again they were up to the task, something that craftsmen and women can be proud of. Being able to bring your family to a job that you've done and look around and see what your people have done and how nice it looks and the compliment you get on it. But ultimately, the most important reviews are those of our customers. From an internal customer service standpoint, we appreciated the Tri-City was here um, late into the night. They came early so that we could have a finished product for the Board of Directors meeting. The lighting features that are in the, the lobby, um, they were designed and built in California, but when they came on site, there was a lot of retrofitting that had to be done. Um, it took a lot of overtime, it took a lot of uh, patience on their part to get the job done in Tri-City stayed on track with the project coming in on time and on budget. From the get-go, they knew that keeping and minimizing customer disruption uh, was a big priority for us. And uh, I can guarantee you they were the best. And they really did a great job in ensuring all of those aspects were taken care of. What we see out of it is uh, our shareholders are going to have value. The customers have a great experience here at the property and the employees love working in this environment. Knowing that we utilized uh, the IBEW here on property, uh, we had a great comfort level um, with the job that was going to be done. Um, we know, for example, there were no safety issues on property with Tri-City. Uh, they were here longer, uh, they worked in unison together, and uh, at the end of the day, we had a great project based on the expertise that the union environment brought to our property. From Bettendorf, Iowa, I'm Bert Goudoulet, electrictv.net. Thank you, Bert. Great story. We'll be right back. Construction projects large and small share two critical elements when a NECA contractor is doing the work. They're built on time and on budget. The skill level of our IBEW electricians is the highest in the world, guaranteeing every project is done right the first time. Being the best isn't a slogan, it's our tradition. The IBEW NECA team 